What's up, YouTube? Punk Metal Dow here with a, another video. Uh, this one being essentially one that's going to tackle the coronavirus in its own sense. Um, gonna take a bit of a different route, though, than most people do. Basically, what I'm going to say here is that the virus itself is not the problem. The problem here is money. Now, that may sound a little bit weird, but if you really think about it, how many people are still being exposed to this because they are essential workers? Um, and, and obviously, I'm not talking about the medical professionals. I don't think they're doing it for the money. But how many retail workers are out there because they're essential employees and they can't afford to just stay home and there's you know there's nothing they can do there's not enough money to go around to just have everybody stay home right well that's the problem we're still too a, a little too worried about money we could you know care more about human beings and just forfeit the the money thing for a while just let it go just be like hey you know everybody stay home but we're still very much worried about money aren't we um we're still talking about, you know, there's not enough money for test kits. There's funding cuts for the World Health Organization because we need money for other things. Money, money, money. We need to stop worrying about the money. We need to just let that go for a little bit. We need to make it possible for people to stay home. Anyone who has seen my videos uh, for an extended period of time knows that I am not Christian, but I do have to give, you know, some respect to the Christians in this regard. <clears throat> they do follow a book that says that money is the root of all evil. And look at what it's doing now. We, we don't have enough tests to see how many people are sick and how many people need to be quarantined and how many people could potentially, you know, ruin or end our lives um, and the lives of others because of money. Um, the World Health Organization will have less to work with because people are still very much worried about money. Anyone who knows me knows I'm not a fan of Trump, but he did make a statement that I do have to agree with that at some point he's going to have to make a very huge decision because people are talking about opening borders back up. Um, obviously that also entails trade. And even as someone who's not a fan of him, I have to sympathize with that because he's absolutely correct. He does have to make a terrible decision because the, you know, the nation and the world itself is too concerned with money. So he has to sit there and think, is it going to be a smart idea to open up some borders and get some trade going again? The problem, though, is we've already seen a resurgence in cases in China. We know for a fact it's a terrible idea. But there's still going to be people pushing for that to happen. For, you know, more trade and, and whatnot. And then we're just going to get sick all over again. Why? Because of money. We need to stop putting such an emphasis on the goddamn money. It's not doing anything for us. It's only making the world worse. But it's the one thing that we want more than anything, it seems. There are people who, in the midst of all this, they could leave, but they want the money. And... It's just, it's, it's terrible. They have to go to work every single day. Or actually they choose to. But speaking of people who have to every single day, people with children, they have to to support that child, right? Because we won't give up the money. We won't unite as a common people who... Everybody 
is, you know, susceptible to this, really. <laughs> Money has done nothing for a lot of people. I have nothing against Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson, but they have a lot of money and they still contracted this. They still had to fight this. I have nothing against the Prime Minister of Britain, but he ended up with this. And he ended up having to fight this. And luckily he's okay. Money did nothing for these people. Money did not ensure that they did not have to face their own mortality. Or, I don't know, we all we all have to die at some point. An early mortality, I guess I should say, would be a more apt point. Money didn't protect them at all. <clears throat> they still had to suffer. And there's people out there suffering from money that will do nothing to protect them against this, just to still suffer this. And then we wonder why everybody's so angry. We wonder why there's so much depression in the world. We wonder why everybody's so stressed. Why there's so much fear. We do this to ourselves. We worry too much about money. And in times like these, it compiles that. We have even more to worry about. But yet we still do this. It's the only way we've known. And we've never thought about stepping uh, outside the line. Never thought about, you know, thinking outside the box. We've always just known America to be a hard-working nation. <clears throat> so that's all we do. We don't work smart. We work hard. And we work for that money. We work a ton of days out of the year. Just to have that one, maybe two weeks off. Hopefully go somewhere nice. Enjoy something. But the rest of the year is shit, isn't it? Because we're so stressed over little pieces of paper. And it's... It's just, it's mind-boggling. Um, you know, I mentioned how Christianity talks about how money is the root of all evil, and other belief systems have that in common. It's interesting how many people, you know, have, despite differences, differences in theology, have united on that one principle that money is really just kind of our downfall, or at least one of them. But it's the one thing we desire the most. We elevate these people with it uh, to this grandiose standard. Oh, look at this dude with his nice car and all his chains. And look at her with that fancy outfit with the diamonds in it. We need to stop. Money is not doing anything for us. Sure, there are people who have helped out. There are funds, much needed funds, for the medical professionals <clears throat> to get them better protective equipment. And it's awesome to see people donate to that. And it's awesome to see people donate huge chunks of money to that. But if we actually cared about each other and did things for the right reasons we wouldn't need money one thing this, that this virus has proven is that we need to rely on each other because if the people around us get sick we get sick and we're failing to see that point we're very much thinking of ourselves. <clears throat> We're stockpiling things. For our own safety. But we're not worried about the safety of others. The masks that we are encouraged to wear 
are for the safety of the people around us, which is our safety. If I get sick and I give this to you and then you hug your wife, you hug your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your child, your grandmother, your grandfather, your mother, your father, then they will end up having to suffer. So the mask I wear out in public, it's okay, admittedly, it's partially selfish because, you know, I don't want the people I care about to get sick. But it's also a non-selfish thing because I also don't want people that I've never even met to get sick. I don't want elderly people I've never met to get sick. I don't want children I've never met to get sick. But, <clears throat> I don't know, I kind of deviated from my original point. But that is one important aspect of all this too. We do need to learn to rely on each other a little bit. We need to stop worrying about the money. We need to band together as people. Not people of one skin color. Not people of one sexual preference. Not people of one gender. Not people of one ideological belief system. We need to toss all that out with the money. And realize that at the end of the day, no matter what kind of person you're talking about, you're still talking about a person. Someone who's trying to figure this life out just as much as you are. Someone who has people that care about them. Someone who has people they care about. Just like you do. Money is doing very little, if anything, for us. But in the end, it's still one of the few things we care about. We're overlooking everybody. Everybody. And it's at our own great cost. So, just really think about it. 